is up guys back with another video we're gonna go over on the iPhone iOS um, 9 which is the iPhone 6s plus and we're gonna go over on how you can record the screen of your iPhone 6s plus so the first thing you need to do is you need to load up Safari you don't need a root rooted version of the iOS 9 you just need to have at least a iOS 9 operating system or whatever it is so go to EMU for ios.net you do not need a jailbreak in order to do this you can do it, you can even do it without a computer so all you go to do is s h o u t v it says right there and i'm recording this using a sony xperia z and you click get install and then you go to home and it should be right there. You just gotta wait for a couple minutes for it to download. Now here's the thing. This app isn't fully trusted for you to even run, so what you need to do is that you need to go to settings, and go to general, go to profile, which is somewhere around here. I think I gotta wait for the app to be installed. See, so as you can see, untrusted enterprise developer has not been trusted on iPhone until the developer. So what we need to do is go to yaw. We're in general, so we need to find profiles. All right, never mind. You need to go to device management. I'm guessing they changed the location, so it's device management. I believe this is the app that's called. Yep, this is it. And trust. You click the trust and trust. Which was called profiles, but now it's called um, something else. It's called uh, device management, as it sees right there. And press home, and then click this app, and there you go. So what you need to do is you need to click OK to allow it. Basically, anything it needs, you need to give it to it because it needs to it needs to have access. Okay, so what is it asking? Can't record iPhone. So make sure you have show you for Mac. I'm show you dot TV. There's Mac. And you need that in order to record. So reason is is because it's not you know ready as you can see make sure you have a Mac so here's the rest of the instructions on how to get it to work so I never actually ran the app before so what you need to do is you need to go to General accessibility and assistive touch. So we go general accessibility. Where is that? It should be up here. Accessibility and assistive touch. Just there it is. Assistive touch. Turn that on. And then maybe maybe it will work if we have. Let's see where is that? We opened up Safari, so let's see if we can find it. All right, there we go. And then the next thing is plus by toggling off. So general accessibility, increase contrast. Okay, so go back to settings, go back here, and go to contrast. Something about contrast. So oh, that's all I can remember. Contrast, contrast, contrast. I think it's up here. Increase contrast. Reduce transparency. There you go. Go ahead and see if we can close the app or whatever. Oh my god, there's so many apps running. This is actually not my phone, it's actually my girlfriend's phone, so I'm using it to make a video on. And you still need a Mac OS X in order to record it, but you can actually live stream with this. If um, if you want to check out the other apps that are available, you can also go to EMU 
go back to um, the web page called EMU for iOS.net, which I did a shortcut for it. And then basically, there's another app called iRec in Playbox. I guess iRec is featured, so it, if it work, if iRec works for record, which for some reason it's not working. This website's coding is not too good. Um, <laughs> this only works for the iOS. Um, as you can see, only iOS 7 and, 7 and such. So, this is about it for the video. I got you show you TV, and um, basically, you need a Mac in order to record since you can't just do it straight off the device. That we're, as you know, we're using a. Um, iPhone 6s plus so it's not going to be quite possible i'll catch you guys in the next video if this was helpful then hit me up a like and subscribe see you guys later